So welcome to garden episode 7. I'm starting off with these peppers that we just harvested. And my fiancée is just holding her in her hand so that you can see the size of them. As there's loads more, which you'll see in a moment. But yes, and also flowers and colour. There's been developments in the colour, so excuse me, I'm just going to have to get into my shoes here. And, well, let's go to the peppers because we just harvested those. We already had two similar size of those. Um, so here they are. I've shown them on the last uh, video, but yeah, these are all good, good sizes. Um, so we've taken a couple of those black ones and three big green ones. And then you can see the tomatoes. There's just clusters of tomatoes. I reckon we're going to have 30, 40 kilograms. If you just have a look at how many tomatoes there are, it is just... And basically, we've been away for six weeks. There were only... The plants were only like a, a foot tall when we left. When we came back, they're all laying on the floor. I've now tied them up, so you, you can see it looks all right from, from a distance in our raised vegetable bed. Now the lettuce has suffered a bit, as you can see, the lettuce looks a bit sad in the middle, but that's because we haven't been able to look after them, but this is the dill, and if you could smell, when I touch this dill, it smells fantastic. Uh, unfortunately it's gone to flower, but there's still some here, as you can see. These, this is what you, you cut them with the scissors, you sprinkle them over your salad, it transforms any salad into the most beautiful beautiful salad so yes the tomatoes are all tied up you can see those flowering baskets here hanging baskets beautiful beautiful colors still we did have a lot of rain when we were away obviously the strawberries are gone there was a 10 foot sunflower here the roses i showed on the last pic on the last video they still look really really fantastic as you can see, that's quite high up. Let's go a bit closer to this one. Just wonderful. Uh, we didn't have any cherries from our cherry tree, but now look at these fantastic colors here. These are passion flowers from the neighbors. They're very, very vigorous. But look at those beautiful, beautiful flowers here next to the orange. Those are the fruit, passion fruits. Uh, I don't think these are edible. Um, I just love these colors and here are our flowers that have survived because they're a little bit in the shade here not so exposed there's still those beautiful flowers here our herbs are these three or four days ago this basil was dried out we gave it a bit of water it's come back to life the sage is coming back to life slowly it was all pretty much gone and with a bit of water uh, the mint will never die out. Uh, chives, chives, thyme, the thyme here, more thyme. And the parsley was completely overgrown and now it's just slowly coming back. But then again, it's all enveloped with these beautiful flowers. The last few in this um, hanging basket. And just look at the beauty of these colours. I have to get really close up. I mean, this is just fantastic. You just look at this flower for two minutes and the world becomes a different place because there is so much in there. There's so much shape. There's so much color. There's so much beauty in just one flower. So, meditation, yes. Here is our pear tree that was half the size just a few months ago. We'll put it in a big pot but we're probably going to actually put it out um, the pumpkin how is that doing yes here it is nice big pumpkin here another one over there there may be one or two more although it's mid-september so slowly we're going out and just if you missed it last time just look at the shape of this now if you're a mathematician the Fibonacci, the spiral, it is just unbelievable. 
you just spirals in there. Well, I would need to be a mathematician to explain everything, which I'm not. But I can see it is absolutely staggering. This is sunflower, by the way. And we're just drying it out here for the seed. So for next year's crop. <clears throat> yes, so here is our garden. Um, I just cut the grass. It was really high, as you can see on the last video. And obviously... It's been quite dry since we've come back, so, oops, it's not focusing very well. Here we go. That's much better. But the grass will grow back. We'll be nice and green. And here we've got tomatoes. I've just uh, put these on steak, so some dropped off. Some had already dropped to the floor. Um, so we're going to do some green tomato chutney, which will then eat and, yeah, Happily, happily eat at Christmas time. Yes, so I hope that my fiance will do a film as well because she knows so much more about flowers and she looks after all the flowers just beautifully. Without her, there'd be 10% of the flowers here. So she's the expert of the flowers and I hope she's going to make a film one day. I'll try to encourage her. Lavender, here we go. We'll finish with this beautiful lavender here. Look at the colour of that. Here we go. Come on camera, focus. Maybe this one. Maybe it'll focus on this. Here we go. That's a lavender plant. It was already on its way out as well. And my fiancé recovered it. Just beautiful. Beautiful. Right, on, the, on that note, thank you for watching. And to the next episode which will be episode number eight thank you